Lesson 1. Noting Details Your learning competency in this lesson Make connections between information viewed and personal experiences. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to Note details from the story read and identify the simple tenses of verbs, present, past, and future. For your requirements, make sure that you have with you your English 6 Quarter 1 Module 3, your ball pen, and your notebook. Now, we will proceed to your task 1, what I know. Direction. Read the information, then put a check in the yes column if you experience it and in the no column if you have not experienced it. Number 1. In 2013, Typhoon Yolanda, also known as Typhoon Haiyan, hit the Philippines. This typhoon was the deadliest typhoon in the country's history. Number 2. The onslaught of Typhoon Frank, or Phoenician, which hit the Philippines on June 18, 2008, led to massive floods and landslides. Number 3. The Al volcano eruption has left behind a desolate landscape of destroyed houses and snap tree covered in a thick layer of heavy ash. Number 4. Social Amelioration Program or SAP recipients received cash aid. Number 5. The COVID-19 pandemic was confirmed to have spread in the Philippines. Some places were placed under enhanced community quarantine. How was your checklist doing? And now, we will proceed to your task 2. What's in? Direction. Read and draw a line to connect the information in small circles to the big circle. Are you ready? Here is the illustration. Just draw a line to connect the small circle to the big circle. You are doing great! And now, let's proceed to your next task. What's new? Direction. Read the selections, note the names of the teachers, the subjects they are teaching, and the different talents they have. Are you ready? Miss Reyes teaches English. Mr. Cruz teaches math. Mr. Pedro teaches Aralin Pandipunan. And Mrs. Santos teaches science. They are friends since college and are working in the same school, Rizal Elementary School. They are teaching grade 6 pupils. The teachers have their individual skills and talents. Miss Reyes is good in dancing. Mr. Cruz is good in singing. Mr. Pedro is good in painting. While Mrs. Santos is good in cooking. The grade 6 pupils love their teachers dearly. Did you all get the details from the selection? Great job! And now, we will proceed to our discussion. What is it? Noting details is a reading comprehension skill that involves picking out from a text a particular piece or pieces of information to achieve a given purpose such as 
answering a question in a test. When one note details, it keeps a brief record of something on a piece of paper. Read the short story and note important details. Make sure to have with you your pen and your notebook to note details. Are you now set and ready? Then, let's start! Pedro went for a bike ride. He rode around the barangay. He met some girls he knew from school. They all headed to the farm to play. Pedro had a great time playing games with his friends. And now, try to answer this activity. Circle the correct word in each sentence. Number 1. Pedro went for a bike car ride. Number 2. He rode around the block barangay. Number 3. Then he met some boys, girls he knew from school. What do you think is the correct answer? Well, let's try to check your answers. Number 1, bike. Number 2, barangay. Number 3, girls. These are the details given in the story. Did you all get the same answers? Great job! What is the importance of noting details? Whenever you are reading, you should be constantly noting the important details. When discussing reading comprehension, think of details as the individual features, facts, or particulars in text. These details are essential to develop reading comprehension. What is noting details? Noting details is a brief record of something that one has written down on paper. What is the importance of noting details? Noting details will lead you to easy understanding of the text or story read. Now, we will proceed to your task 4. What's more? Direction. Find anyone in your house to read the story with you. Then take turns in answering the questions. Write your answer on the space provided after each number. Enjoy learning! Blocky Story I see and hear many things at night. I look at the sky and see the moon and stars. The leaves make noise when the wind blows. I see brown cricket and cockroach fly across the ceilings. I hear other dogs howling at the moon all night long. And now, answer the following question. Number 1. When does Blackie see and hear many things? Answer is At night Number 2 What does Blackie see in the sky? You're right! The correct answer is Moon and stars Question number three. What makes noise in the wind? The correct answer is the leaves. Great answer. Number four question. What color is the cricket? 
The answer is brown. And the last number, question number five. What house at the moon? Great! The answer is dogs. Did you all get the answers correctly? Great job! And now, let us discuss more for what I have learned. Lamp is vital to reading comprehension. In fact, it can be said that the foundation of literal comprehension and comprehension as a whole is noting details. What do you think is the answer? You're right, noting details. The meaning of noting details is a blank of something that one has written down on paper. This may be a statement, a quote, a definition, a phrase one may have written down in order to remember. What do you think is the word? The answer is... Brief record. Great job! Plus, you have to remember this. Noting details in the story or selection read is answering who, what, where, when, and why. And now, we will proceed to your task 5. What I can do. You can surely note details as you read this short story. Answer the questions that follow. Make sure that you are ready with your notebook and ball pen. Are you ready? Then, let's begin. I view and I read. We the grade 6 class went to see the movie last Saturday. We got permission slips signed before we go. We watched a movie that told the story from a book we read. We love it when movies were made from books. We got to the movie early so we can buy popcorn. Some of us bought curls and fries too. We all enjoyed watching the movie. When we returned to school, we talked about things that were in the movie and the book. We all agreed that we liked the book better. Books let you picture out the characters in any way you want to picture them. It was fun to compare the movie to the book. This time, Try to answer the following questions. Number 1. Who watched the movie? Answer is Grade 6 class. Question number 2. Where did the students go? What do you think is the answer? The correct answer is to the movie. Great job! Question number three. What did the students need to do before going to the movie? The correct answer is get permission slip. Question number four. When did the students watch movie? 
Did you still remember the answer? The correct answer is last Saturday. Good answer! And for the last question, number five, why are books better than movies? The answer is, picture the characters any way you want. Do we have the same answers? Great job! And now, we will proceed to your assessment, your task six. It's time for you to be challenged. Read the text and do what is asked of you. Enjoy and learn well. This is Maria. She is 10 years old. She is short and jolly. She got long black hair. She got small black eyes. She can dance. She can sing. She can't swim. She can't run. Her favorite toy is a doll. It is blue. She got two pink yo-yos. She got a red yo-yo too. And now, try to answer the following questions. Number one, what's her name? Yes. The correct answer is Maria. Great job! Next question, number two. How old is she? Indeed, the correct answer is 10 years old. Number three question, can she swim? Yes, the answer is no. Great answer. Question number four, does she have short hair? The correct answer is no. Number five. Is she short? Great. The correct answer is yes, she is short. Next number. Number six. Is her doll blue? Do you still remember the answer? The correct answer is yes. Her doll is color blue. Number seven. Does she have big eyes? According to the selection, the correct answer is no. Question number 8. Can she sing? The answer is yes, she can sing. Question number 9. Does she have three yo yos? The correct answer is. No, she only have two yo-yos. And for the last number, number 10, is she jolly? According to the selection, the correct answer is Yes, Maria is jolly. You did great job for your assessment. Now, we will proceed to your task 7. Additional activities. Read the short story and note the important details to be able to answer the questions. 
Are you ready with your ball pen and notebook? Then, let's begin! Once there was a girl who loves to eat chocolates, candies, fries, and burgers. She would always spend her money to buy her favorite junk foods. She is Tanya, a grade 4 pupil studying at Mahardika Elementary School. One recess time, Tanya cried because she had a toothache. Her teacher brought her to the clinic. The dentist told her she had cavities in her teeth caused by the candies and chocolates she eats almost every day. Tanya promised herself not to eat candies and chocolates anymore. And now, answer the following question. Number 1. Who is the girl in the story? The correct answer is Tanya. Great job! Question number two What are Tanya's favorite foods? The correct answer are chocolates, candies, and burgers. Number 3 question What is the name of Tanya's school? Yes, the correct answer is Maharlika Elementary School Number 4 question Where did Tanya's teacher bring her? The correct answer is Clinic. And the last number, number five, why did Tanya stop eating chocolates? The correct answer is because she doesn't want to have a toothache again. You did great in our lesson today. I hope you learned a lot about noting details. Remember everything what you have learned. Congratulations for a job well done class. I hope to see you again in our next virtual class. This is the end of our lesson one. Goodbye and God bless everyone.